My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic. Today I am viewing Rhinoceros by Zoologist. Uh, the notes in it are rum, bergamot, lavender, oh dear, sage, pinewood, tobacco, geranium, argawood, cedarwood, vetiver, sandalwood, amber, smoked leather, and musk. This is 165 pounds for 60 mil. I reviewed one called B. I'm very interested to see. Uh, what else they've got? Do we have a fragrance samples of all those bottles? Are we engaged with our high self? Let's get testing. So I think I need to let this settle down because you're just giving me a blast. So this is just like a full on wall of stuff. So, so I want to go on and say I never do negative reviews. I try not to and I try and find the best in everything because I love this art form I think it's fantastic and there's a lot of skill in perfumery and a lot of jobs so I try to be as honest as possible but as fair as possible but I don't like this so I'll try and that's just first off so I just don't think I like uh, there's a I've heard me talk about it before an essential called Elmney oil and it smells like stinging nettles it's very green and it can be used to accelerate fragrances and give you expansion to it and this is in this, and the sage mixed with it is, uh, yes, not particularly my favourite thing. But I'm going to try and go through the thing. I don't like green fragrances, I can't help it, it's just not really my type of thing. I love sort of uh, sweetness and uh, gourmand and all that sort of stuff. Okay, it's settling down now. I don't like the very green tree, pine note feel in this at the top. I don't like pine. Which is unfortunate. The tobacco is excellent. Tobacco is a cedar word and a tobacco cord. So that is really excellent. So this is giving you the heart of it is a uh, tobacco and cedar wood box. This smells like a tobacco box. The vertiver is green. So this is green with sandwich. This is a really wood based formulation. The uh, musk is clean. And I would really hope it was clean actually against such heaviness because you need to sort of balance it slightly. And the leather is really good. That is one of the leather notes. I have loads of leather um, aroma chemicals actually. I think I was counting, oh, we were moving the factory around. And I was, they're all, all the sort of uh, aroma chemicals go in, as you would expect. The musk go in one thing, the uh, sandwood and suede sort of aroma chemicals, the ambers, the allergens, the limonene, then all eugenol, ice eugenol, uh, all that sort of stuff. And the white floral notes all just go together. Yes. But I sort of can't I think about five, which is sort of quite a lot. I don't really use five or six. I don't really use a lot of them. I think I have one. I would use all of them in sort of different ways, but there's, I go to my, I've built an accord. But anyway, there's one in this I can detect. So this is a lot of natural sin, which is fabulous. I just don't like it. It's just so personal. I'm so sorry if you love this. I just don't like pine notes, I don't like green notes. I think it needs to settle down. So I'm gonna go through my marks with you. On to my final thoughts. The price is really good, so two to do for the price. As it's settling, it's much better. So I think you need to uh, try this, absolutely try this, because I think there are some people out there which it will be their signature scent, absolutely, I think it's brilliant. Uh, but I think you need to smell it after an hour. It needs to go quite light on it and um, Maybe three sprays. So this is excellent for me. Technically, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'm going to be three out of four. Do I like it? No. I'm so sorry. Smoke is a uh, birch tar. And I hope it's birch tar rectified. We said all the nasty bits taken out. So there's a birch tar coming through to the leather. It's getting better as it's drying down, actually. Because that awful camphorous notes are coming off, thankfully. As it's drying down, it's getting much, much better. So I'm going to put it, um, I want it to sit at about a seven. That's explain why uh, I think it's too dominant in uh, the pine notes. Personally, I think they need to be toned on quite a lot. And I would love some more richness put in there. It needs some richness put through there. And I would love to see some sort of sound woody sort of musk coming through. And sweetened slightly actually, it's not very sweet, it seems to be very bitter, a bit of greenness to it, which I really don't like at all. I don't like vertiver. I use it in Boss Bastard, 
but I really don't like it on its own. It has to be blended and it has to be sweetened because it's quite a bitter uh, green smell. So I sweeten it to give you a uh, sort of, to balance it. And this is what this needs. To me, this is just very dry, slightly medicinal from the pine, uh, woody, smoky feel to it. I'm gonna classify it as the Chapeau fragrance, which is lots of herbs, lots of pine, um, and it's missing some sweetness, so it really, really needs some sweetness. And I love lavender, but in this case, I would use something like uh, orange, and I absolutely would have reduced down the pine. I would have pushed in some sort of softness to it, some more wood compounds, a little bit of vanilla, and um, some sweeter top notes. It needs to be sweetened. It's, it's just missing the sweetness to it. But as I said, this is so so personal, and you may love fragrances that are green, herbaceous, fresh, with smoke and leather and tobacco at the base. You may love it, but I really just don't like pine needles, and I really just don't like. Um, you can tell I'm a bit stressed about it. So. so I'm gonna make that a, a, a seven out of ten because the price is really really good, but it feels a little bit like a lump being thrown at you. And I'd love to see it extended, sweetened slightly with some sort of some softness. I mean, if you if you're doing uh, bergamot, you need some um, other citruses in it. So I'd love to see it sort of extended and pulled around. But it just was like short, round, robust. So I'd love to see it extended and some vanillin in there and reduce uh, or remove the pine because it's too green for my liking. I think the Elmi oil potentially is a little bit too high as well, so I'd reduce that down and just increase some sweetness to it. It doesn't need some sweetness to it. I think it'd be perfect then. But it's very, very unoffensive. It's not like offensive at all. I think this needs to be uh, just a little something a little bit more updated into it and uh, pushed and elevated a little bit. But the price is phenomenal. Oh, I'm so sorry, I hope that didn't upset anyone, but you know, you come here for uh, reviews. Who would I recommend this for? I think if you were after a signature scent that's niche, so this smells niche, this does not smell uh, suitable for everyone. So I think if you're after something which no one else has got, you're after green, you're after fresh, you're after pine, you're after tobacco, you've got a lot of ambers in there, then you will absolutely love this. And I think this is suitable for certain types of people who value their individuality and really don't want to smell like everybody else at all. They really want something really unique, different and niche then this is perfect for you. I mean, this is latched onto the skin and it's not coming off at all. So I think you're gonna get masses of longevity and you're gonna get, so the projection is really, really fabulous as well. So, um, yeah, I think it's a 37 because I think it uh, it needs some sweetness. It needs some things toned down. The pine needs to be toned down. Uh, the almond oil needs to come down. It needs some sweet orange. It needs some other musks into it and vanillin. Benzoin is really, really gorgeous in this. So this has the potential to be absolutely just sublime, but unfortunately, because of the greenness that's really prominent and bitterness that's from the almond oil, it's I um yes I feel oh, I feel really awful, but there we go. Can't help who I am. So uh, hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, excited unicornness. I'll see you soon for our fragrance review.